Another question. Um, gentlemen there. You could have mine. Hi David, Peter Tattersall from uh, Brixton in London, just up the road from the Ritzy, so that's going to be handy next uh, week on Saturday. Um, you mentioned uh, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen, and of course they're fantastic lyricists, and I know that, um, well for me your lyrics, well the lyrics that you sing have a huge impact, and I know that Polly Sampson is a huge part of those lyrics, and I really, really appreciate uh, Polly's writing, I think she's a fantastic writer. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. her books are just fabulous. <laughs> Read them if you haven't got them, they're really good stuff. And um, you're on record as saying of yourself, I wouldn't say this of you as being pig-headed, I would of course say tenacious, unless you disagree with me, then I might call you pig-headed. But I just wonder, my question is about the creative process with, with Polly in terms of the lyrics, because I know you co-write them. What's that process like? Um, well, God, there's a long, long explanation for that one. I mean, um, it, there's many different ways. Every different song comes out a different way. Sometimes there's a piece of music that Polly says, I would like to have a go at that one and write some lyrics for it. Sometimes she kicks me into starting it myself and um, then helps out as we go along. There's, there's no hard and fast rule of one enters into these things, but um, they are usually inspired by the music and there is something that is stating itself within the music that um, Polly seems to get a grip on faster than I do. So. Thank you, and I hope you don't mind, but I brought along a little gift for, for you and Polly, so uh, You're I very don't have money, but uh, my gift is my word. Thank you. To quote Elton John. Thank you. Thank Another you. question, please. Um, there is a lady there in glasses. Hi, David. Uh, Hi, Abby from West Sussex. Um, you've had a very successful career and been a member of one of the most renowned and one of the best musical groups in the world. What is it that makes you still strive to create music? It's in my blood something that I live and breathe every single day, whether I'm working or not. Music is something that gives me just fantastic joy and pleasure. Um, and having had the luck to get where I am in this career so far, it seems um, churlish not to share it. Are you all right up there, by the way? You're not finding this too hateful, are you? Now, um, another question. Let me look around. Where, 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 where we have, haven't we been? Lady there in blue. Yeah. Hello, David. My name is Jean. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Hi. Hello. Um, of the bloggers here, uh, I think I've traveled furthest to see you, and this is my first time ever seeing you. Um, my question to you is fairly simple. 500 years, 1,000 years, if somebody looks up your Wikipedia entry or whatever they have that, what would you like the summary to say? <laughs> Do you ever look at your Wikipedia entry? <laughs> Don't, it's probably full of mistakes. There are, there are mistakes. I have looked at it, but not recently. I hope it's accurate and honest. I don't know. You tell me. I'll be long gone, I won't be caring. The neutrality of this article has been disputed by one David Gilmore. <laughs> um, we'll just take a few more, I think, right now, I think we should go right to the back. Now, at this distance, I think, and I, this is going to sound terrible, I think that's a lady though who's waving at me. Is that you? Hello? That's, that's it? Yeah, can we, get a, can we get a microphone back there? I'm so glad it is a lady. See what I mean. Um, ah, you usurped the other lady I was looking at. So I think it's only fair that you pass it on in a second. No, you little royster, doister. No, you can go right. first. Go ahead, no, go you ahead. can go first. No, you can go first. But sure, um, play nicely, like nice children. Yes, sir. Um, my name's Michelle. I'm from Reading originally. 
Um, David, I was raised on your music by my dad, who's mostly telling me that a lot of the music that comes out nowadays is rubbish in comparison. If you had to do a cover of a song that's been released in the last two or three years, which song would you pick? Oh, Crazy by Niles Barkley. <laughs> we did it at Soundcheck a lot, it was great. abreast of, of, of new stuff, don't you? Because I remember a couple of years back, uh, I saw you playing at the Meltdown Festival, and one of the reasons I came along is because I was interviewing the American band Sparkle Horse, who yeah. you specifically requested were on the bill, who, who are not, by any means, a major world act, but they were, yeah. they were people you, whose music you liked, yeah. Yeah, they've done a couple of great albums, yeah, very yeah. nice. So you do, you know, stay across new stuff? Uh, my children introduced me to it, I think. Yeah. That's the... I don't keep up so well myself. Okay. Now, have you got your microphone now? Good. Thank you. It's okay. Hi, I'm Helen from Cambridge. I was just wondering, will you come and play Cambridge, please? Well, there's a camp. How can you possibly refuse that? Uh, I have no current gig plans, I'm afraid, so next time I go and do some concerts, we'll certainly consider Cambridge. It's a lovely city. I know it well. Just some previous, as they say, yeah. in Cambridge, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we do need to move towards an end, but let me, where have we not been? We've not been kind of in the middle there, and there's, uh, there's a gentleman, I think, and a lady, side by side there. Are you independent of each other, as it were? Yes? Okay. Madam, you, you ask the question that you want first. Okay. Hello, I'm Angela from Germany. Um, we've actually Good been to your... Good Guten Abend. <laughs> We've actually been to your concert in Venice uh, last year, also to the Rained Out one, and uh, we met the wine glass player after the concert the next day, and I was just wondering how you got to meet him and to include him in the concert. Um, yes, he was a great guy. He was from Siberia, and he um, played wine glasses um, unbelievably well um, on the streets of Venice. and. Polly and I were walking along there one day, and we stopped to listen. And Polly said, you've got to get him on stage with you tomorrow night. And I said, you must be mad. And she said, no, you must, you must. So we did. He was um, a very nice guy. Igor Skilarov, he was called. Um, and he, he played the wine glass intro to Shine On You Crazy Diamond with us on stage there in Venice. And I believe he's, he's in the DVD, isn't he? He is in the DVD. You can um, see him. We had um, Gavin, our Gavin Elder, who did all the documentary making with us. And um, he filmed us meeting him and talking to him. And it's all in there. Um, I should say, uh, because that is going to, I'm afraid, be the last question we can take, although not quite it. Uh, the, uh, the DVD is available from September 17th, two DVD set, five and a half hours, crammed with extras. Uh, thanks to all the people who've come this evening here in person. Thank you to all the people uh, around the world, well, around Europe, who are watching this uh, via the miracles of technology. And uh, to the Radio 2 listeners as well, who can listen to all this again, or quite a lot of it again, at bbc.co.uk slash radio2. And, um, yeah, we've done, we've done the DVD. And I think all that remains for me to say before I scarper is thank you very much to David Gilmore.